What's going on, everybody? I am that driving guy, and my office gets me where I'm going. If this is your first time, you know the drill. Go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell, and hit all. That way you're notified every time I drop a video. Today's video is going to be about how to use the DoorDash app. And I'm going to go through everything so you guys can get a clear picture of all the elements of the app and all of the different sections of the app. So starting off, you're going to go into the DoorDash app. And then as the, de the app loads up, the first thing that you're going to see is the DoorDash heat map. That shows all of the surrounding cities and lets you know which areas are busy and which areas have promotions going on. So starting from the top, you see the bell in the top left hand corner. If you click on that, that shows you all of the DoorDash updates. So if you want to find any updates, you're going to click that bell in the top left hand corner. The next thing that you will see would be the message icon. And that basically is just going to have all the messages that you um, have with the customer on any active dash. So you're going to go there to see all of the messages. The next thing that's available for you is the promotions tab. And when you click on the promotions tab, it's going to show you all the cities that have promotions that you pre-selected through the filter which would be the next tab above on the right hand side. If you click that, it'll show you all the cities that you're able to select from within your state. And you simply just click on one to select it or deselect it. And then you apply the filters when you're done. Also what's available is the date, the day and the time that the peak pay is available for each particular uh, city. And if you click on the arrow next to the peak pay, you'll be able to go ahead and schedule the dash for that time slot. The next thing underneath the promos tab, if you have a da uh, dash scheduled, that's where it's going to show up. So any dash that you schedule, it'll show up there and if you need to edit it, you just click on the pin and you can either delete the, the whole entire dash or you can adjust the time within the block that's available. When you find the time that you want, just click save and you're done. Now getting back to the heat map. Now, if it was not busy at all around this time in my area, it's usually very busy with peak pay. But if we're not busy at all, you'll see a gray area like this. And if you were to click on that, it would give you information about what's going on in that area as far as promotions go. And it would also give you the option to schedule a dash for when it's busy again. If you happen to get lost on the map and you need to get back to where you are currently, just hit that little bullseye icon and it'll take you right back to where you are. Now, when you are able to dash and where I am, I'm able to dash when it's red, you'll be able to click on that area and then press dash now and then you'll immediately be able to dash within the time frame that's available. And DoorDash also indicates um, how busy the area is by letting you know that it's very busy, busy, or it will just be red and not say anything at all, but you would still be able to dash. And it also, <clears throat> it also has the peak pay amount that's available for that particular area as well. Now let's go down to the tabs underneath. The following tab after dash would be schedule. So if you clicked on that, it's going to show you a little weekly calendar with all the days and um, the dates that are available for you to select to dash. Again, 
the cities that are, that are going to be available for you to dash are going to be the ones that you pre-selected um, that you will want to dash in. So once you find the particular area you're wanting to dash and the particular time, you just click on the pen and it takes you to the scheduling process where you're able to select the times that you want and then you simply save it. Once you have a dash scheduled to check on the dash to make sure it went through, you simply cl click on scheduled and you'll see the dash that you selected highlighted in blue and you can verify it there. And as I said on the beginning screen with dash, you can see the, the dash that you just previously scheduled. Another thing <clears throat> on this screen is the settings icon where you're able to select the cities that you would like to make your starting point. Once you have those cities selected or the cities that you would like to dash in, you would just simply save that. The next tab would be the accounts tab. And this is where you're going to find your profile with your name, your telephone number, email address, and your starting point. Also your vehicle. And if you would like to update your vehicle information, you would contact um, Dasher support and they will be able to assist you with that. And also you have your settings. This is where you're going to be able to manage your account, set your default navigation uh, map that you would like to have, and also um, opt in for promotional push notifications and log out as well. The next tab is going to be your ratings. And your ratings are gonna consist of your customer rating, your acceptance rate, your completion rate, your on time or early percentage and also your lifetime deliveries. If you click on the arrow for each one, let's say the customer rating first, it breaks everything down in detail. It gives you a little information about Top Dasher and how you can learn more about that. And also it shows you how many stars you've received within, uh, based on your last 100 deliveries, completed deliveries. You also have a little section down here for ratings that are excluded from your ratings and if you click on the icon it gives you some of the reasons why they would have been excluded and it doesn't impact you negatively uh, for these reasons but if you did happen to get a five star that counts in your benefit beneath that you're going to have your customer feedback and it's based off of four categories, your communication with the customer, how well you followed the delivery instructions, your order handling, and your friendliness. If you click on each one, it will let you know how often you've received that high rating for that particular category. And it also gives you things to look out for and tips from other dashers as well. And you can see their stats their name, lifetime deliveries, and their, their five-star ratings. And you can do that for each category as well, and you'll get tips for each one. Beneath that is the customer compliments. So that shows how many times you've gone above and beyond, and it even has comments from the customers themselves and quotes that they left for you. Beneath that, you can learn more about how they're collecting the data, um, how they calculate it to go towards your customer rating, and also their deactivation policy. You can read about all of those different things as well. The next thing, if you click on the arrow, would be your acceptance rating. And it lets you know if it's very low, high, great, and it tells you what you need to do in order to raise it and gives you a little description of what the acceptance rating is. Same with the completion rating, the on-time early rating as well, and then you have your lifetime deliveries. <clears throat> the last tab is the earnings tab. <clears throat> now, when you get to the earnings tab, um, if you click on the little bank icon in the top right-hand corner, 
that's going to take you to your banking information. So from there, you can set up your direct deposit where you want your weekly payout to go to. You can also set up your fast pay where you would like for your daily payouts to hit as well. Um, when you use your fast pay, um, you will be charged a dollar ninety nine fee for it to be immediately deposited onto whatever debit or credit card or whatever account you want it to go to. And you can also switch out your payout accounts to whatever um, your preference is. All right. Beneath that, you're going to have your weekly um, amount, how much you've made so far um, for that week. Below that is going to be your balance, which would be the amount that is available for you to take out right now. Below that, you have your active um, hours and you have your dash hours. Your active hours are just the hours that you were actually picking up and delivering orders. And your dash hours are your hours for just being on the clock. All right. So underneath that, you'll have deposits and transfers. And then it also lets you know when your next weekly transfer is going to be initiated. If you click on the arrow for that, again, you have the bank icon, <clears throat> excuse me, the bank icon in the top, your available balance, and also cash out with fast pay. If you click on that, you'll be given, you'll be notified of the fee and also the um, amount that you would actually be transferring from the balance with the fee deducted. And then if you press transfer, it automatically goes to whatever source you um, selected for it to go to. Beneath that is just all of the deposits that you had going to your bank. You have an earnings chart or earnings history chart that you can scroll through and you can see all of the payments that you've made every single week for up to uh, two or three months, I believe. And you also have the breakdown beneath that. And if you wanted to go further into the breakdown, you can click on that arrow for that particular week. And it breaks down what DoorDash paid you, how much the customer tip, your active time, dash time, and your number of deliveries. And if you want to break it down even further, you can even break down the details for each particular day and the amounts in restaurants that you've gone to. Um, to see what how you became up with that total. All right. So as far as the app portion of it goes, that's pretty much it. So next thing that I want to show you is um, how to accept an order and how to go about that. So if you are just sitting and you're waiting on an order, the first thing that you may see when an order comes in is going to be this screen. You're going to have the option to accept or decline the order. So it will be a screen that looks similar to a screen like this, where you'll be given the option to decline or you'll be given the option to accept. It also shows the map in the background where it shows wh where you are, where the restaurant is, and also where the customer is. If you look further down, it has more details about when the delivery needs to be delivered, the restaurants, and the number of items along with the mileage. You also have your payout there. So if it's an order that you do not want to accept, you will hit decline. And then it will take you to another screen where you'll be able to select the reason why you do not want to accept. Once you select that reason, you click submit, submit, and it will refresh the screen back to the DoorDash heat map. Now, just as a tip, a very great safety tip, if you are driving and you receive an order that you are going to decline, it's best to just allow the time to run all the way out and it will just give a default reason. That way you're staying safe 
and you don't have to go through all of the procedures to decline an order. But if it happens to be an order that you are going to accept, you would simply just accept the order. And then it would take you to a screen that looks similar to this, where you're able to pull up the directions. Once you arrive at the restaurant, you will click arrive at the store. When you arrive at the store, if you happen to have to wait for the delivery, you'll be given an, op given an option um, to let them know or let DoorDash know why it's taking long with the order. So you would just go under waiting for your order and you would click on tell us what's happening to help speed up the pickups. And it would take you to a screen like this. You would just simply select whatever the reason is that the order is not ready or why you're waiting. And then you would submit it and it would take you back to the order screen. Now, once you have received the order and you're ready to go, you will click confirm pickup. And then it would take you again to um, the GPS for you to select um, the directions using the map that you pre-selected before. Once that's up, you drive to the customer. Uh, once the order is completed, you would take your picture um, and you would you would click on complete order and then again you would confirm that you've completed the order and then you're pretty much done so that's pretty much what you need to do that's a full breakdown on how to use the app how to accept an order and decline an order and also uh, Hopefully you can get a little bit comfortable with that information as well. If you got some benefit from this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and like the video. Drop me some comments and let me know what you think. And if you have some tips as well, um, share this video, especially with new dashers or any gig workers. I really want you guys to um, get the most value from this. Check out the description box for some things that you can use to help you along the way on your dash. I appreciate all of you, and until next time, I'm a holler.